Hi guys, in today's video I'd like to talk about Vitex. This herb I already talked about in the past in my How to Balance Your Hormones Naturally video. And I mentioned that I was about to start taking Vitex to see if it can help me balance my periods and to make them less heavy. Well, I did try and it was a bit of a disaster and I know exactly why. So that's why I thought I would make this video and, and warn you because there are definitely cases when taking Vitex is probably not a good idea and I am one of those cases. So let's get started with this video. So when I took my blood test for my hormonal levels um, many, many months ago, I suspected that I was estrogen dominant and I was a tiny bit estrogen dominant, but my progesterone was actually not low at all. It was actually really high, very close to the, to the, you know, to the edge of the levels or the right levels. So my estrogen was a little bit high too, so my ratio between estrogen and progesterone was just a little bit off, not much. But my progesterone definitely didn't need to be raised any more than it already was. So basically my problem was that the level of both of those hormones was a little bit too high and I had to find a way to lower them naturally instead of ramping up one um, against the other. That's just totally wrong. Um, strategy but at that time it kind of seemed logical to me because I read about so many women who fix their periods, their heavy periods by using Vitex and so I was really hopeful and I thought that maybe it would help me. I totally closed my eyes to the facts that told me that Vitex would probably not work for me. So I started taking it um, last month uh, on the fifth day of my period when it was already kind of finishing and then as soon as I started taking Vitex my period kind of got restarted again and then it went on and went on and went on for other 10 days kind of like spotting which is really strange because i never ever ever get anything like that and then also from day two or day three i started feeling really strange as if i was going through a pms which is strange because obviously i was already after my period or as if i was pregnant i imagine that being pregnant would kind of feel like that because i felt a little bit nauseous I had some cramping, I didn't want to eat much, I was really irritable, uh, but the worst thing for me was depression. You probably already know by now that I struggle with depression for quite a few years and going on Vitex kind of felt like being on a pill. That's how depressed and numb I started to feel again and I, I really didn't like it, but I thought maybe it's just normal readjusting because some women in online mentioned that Vitex made them feel worse at the beginning before I fixed them up later. So I wanted to give it a bit more time before I gave up. And I took it for around two weeks in total and I just felt worse and worse and worse. Eventually my, my bleeding stopped, but I just felt so off. I just kept having these cramps. And then I started Googling symptoms of um, progesterone excess because what Vitex does is it increases, like promotes the production of progesterone in your body. So as I already knew that my progesterone was quite high, the first thing I googled was symptoms of progesterone excess. And they were literally exactly the same as what I was going through. And then I remembered that when I started taking the pill for the second time, before I went off it forever, I had exactly the same symptoms for the first month. I had literally bleeding for the whole month. I felt very nauseous and irritable and depressed. It was exactly the same. And what happens when you start taking the pill? You get loads of artificial progesterone on top, on top of the progesterone that your body is already producing naturally until your body adjusts and you know, understands that it doesn't have to produce progesterone anymore. So it stops and then your progesterone levels are normal. But until that happens for the first month or so, you actually have way more progesterone than you need. And that's why I was going through that bleeding and all of those crazy symptoms. And when I started taking Vitex, it felt exactly the same because again my body was forced to make more progesterone than it needed and that's why I felt like that. So as soon as I understood that everything just clicked into place and I realized that I had to stop because my body was literally screaming for me to stop. It wasn't happy. I was getting more and more depressed and I didn't, I didn't want to go back there into those horrible times. So I stopped taking Vitex. And it took me a couple of days to get it out of my system and to start feeling fine again. And then I was very curious to see what my next period was going to be like. And it was strange. 
So I started spotting and it lasted for seven days and the real flow only started on the eighth day, which is totally abnormal because generally I spot for probably three days before my period starts. And then the rest of the period was fine, but it's just at that super long spotting. So in the whole month, in the whole cycle, I probably didn't spot for something like a week. Totally abnormal, never happened to me before. I attribute it 100% to Vedex because as I said, that's exactly what happened to me with a pill. So it was a great lesson for me. So definitely don't take Vedex if your progesterone is already normal or quite high because you're just going to mess up your hormones even more. That's the main lesson from this video. Definitely do a blood test or saliva test to check your hormone, hormone levels, both estrogen and progesterone. Don't try Vedex blindly, don't take it lightly. Um, so that's all I wanted to say in this video. I just wanted to warn you and make sure that you don't go through such a crazy month like I did. Luckily, I seem to be back to normal now and I'm back to taking my black strap molasses this time properly every single day for the whole month two tablespoons a day and let's see what happens when my next period rolls over because i am quite convinced that black strap molasses is going to finally fix my heavy periods and everything's going to be fine from now on so i'm very hopeful i will keep you updated on that I hope that you found this video about VTEX helpful and as I said, be very responsible, do your research, do all the relevant tests before trying anything and stay safe. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.